Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Text. Today we're going to be looking at this SSD, or should I say portable SSD from Transcend. It's a little bit rugged looking, so it should be able to take a few bumps or bangs, which is always good. But the advantages of this over a traditional hard drive is obviously SSDs should last longer and are more durable anyway, but also you've got that transfer speed. With it being USB 3.1 Gen 2, it should be able to transfer roughly 10 times faster than a traditional hard drive, which should make this thing pretty pretty quick. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the Transcend ESD 350C, which is a portable SSD. It's, this is the 480 gigabyte version. They do do other sizes. Um, it's got a USB 3.1 Gen 2, USB 3.1 Type C reversible connector. It will let you connect it up to devices which are, have got the USB Type C connector, uh, and it also should have a cable in there. Um, what will connect you up to traditional USB type A connectors so it would be backwards compatible so not just type C but standard USB devices as well. Uh, the rest of the box you can see through it shows you Transcend you can see what it looks like on the side it tells you about some uh, Transcend Elite data management software you can download it's been drop tested uh, shock proof on the back you've got all your different information for different languages it does say warranty is three years there it's got a QR code as well you can scan for more information this side it says it's equipped with USB 3.1 Gen 2 blah 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 and you've got compact and elegant design apparently so there we go now it does have a hangy hook option on the top but there doesn't seem to be an actual hook there so but otherwise that's pretty much it for the box Okay, this is what you've got inside the box. You've got three sheets of paper. Let's have a look at this one. External storage and solid state drives. Oh, they're basically telling you what other products to sell and what you can buy from them. Uh, this one, pretty much again, same again, but for Apple products. That's a quick installation guide. I'm guessing it's going to be quick. Yeah, basically it's two paragraphs in English, the rest is all in different languages. Basically tells you support and download uh, and a warranty and disclaimer to the download. Go to the support section on the website uh, and it tells you a store jet for Mac, uh, store jet uh, for SSD, store jet uh, 35 and so forth. But basically you just plug it in and away you go. There's nothing special you really need to know. Um, two cables. You've got USB Type-C to the USB Type-C. Obviously one end would have to plug in here, it doesn't matter which because they're both USB-C. So that means uh, you'd be able to plug that end into any device what was USB Type-C. So some computers, laptops, smart devices like phones and tablets generally are coming with USB Type-C connections on them these days. Um, so you've got that ability there. But don't worry, if you ain't got that connection, you can get rid of that cable or keep it somewhere safe for the future, you can plug in this other cable, which has got USB Type-C on one end, and it's got your traditional USB Type-A on the other. That's the one what you would plug into most PCs, desktops, and stuff like that. So you'd be able to use it that way. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The box itself, or should we say the portable SSD, as you can see, it's got their name across the front. It's got this sort of a blue against black with a probably a pale blue uh, around the edge. There's only one connection on there. There's a little hole. I'm guessing that's going to be the load light. Otherwise, on the back, it's got the uh, model number information there as well. So pretty much not much to see. So if I was to, let's just plug this in to my laptop, which I've got next to me. So you get your USB Type-C cable. Then plug that into a laptop. We'll say this one here. So the connection is quite small compared to a standard USB. You just plug it in. And you've probably heard that ping ping. And that's basically the device picking up straight away. And if we open the device up, 
the folder is empty so they haven't put any bloatware or anything like that on there which is nice to see because a lot of times these devices come with a load of rubbish software that no one ever uses or wants which just takes up space and you end up deleting okay so i've got the transcend external solid state drive connected up to a usb 3.1 gen 2 header on the motherboard also known as usb type c um so what we're going to do is just check the speeds i'm going to run crystal disk mark first in theory, we should be getting around about that thousand, thousand and fifty megabytes per second, they quote. So let's have a look if we actually do. I have done a quick, few quick tests of this running on a, a standard USB 3.1 header, uh, and that's the Gen 1, uh, and it gets around about 450 megabytes per second, which is to be expected because it's a slower socket. But as you can see here, it does seem to be getting a read speed at the moment of around about a thousand and twenty megabytes per second. I'm going to fast forward this video now till the end of the test. Okay, as you can see here, the testing is nearly done. The write speed did finish at 1,023.56 megabytes, so not far off what the state. The write speed is about 882, which is still not bad in all uh, in all uh, honesty. What I'm going to do now is run Atto. Um, this is another program which does pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to wait for the Crystal Dismark just to completely finish first, which should be any second. There we go, that's pretty much done now. So I'm going to start Atto off and have a look at the sort of speeds we're looking at there. So it'll take again a few minutes for that to go through with all the speeds, but what we'll do is fast forward the video uh, until it actually gets to a point where it's uh, worthwhile seeing. So Atto went through, we got roughly 977, 975, so high 900 megabytes per second, a little bit behind the Atto readings. The write speed, again, about 843 seems to be the average there, uh, which is a little bit, again, behind the Crystal Disk Mark uh, uh, score as well. So both of them score it slightly under what they say uh, on the box, or should I say website, which is about uh, 1,050 megabytes megabytes per second but again it's not far behind so I won't hold them back for that one. Uh, what we're going to do now is copy a 10.3 gigabyte folder which consists of 60 files of varying different sizes onto the SSD so I'm going to copy where a fault file called Arctic 1 and just pasting it on there now you can see it copying and as you can see, it is copying on there in real time at roughly 500 megabytes per second there. A little drop and then back up again. So roughly around about that 500 megabytes per second, which in, in reality is actually pretty good speed considering the file sizes. Some are pretty large and some are really small. What we're going to do now is copy the file called Arctic2, which is basically exactly the same but named differently so we don't have caching issues where it already thinks it's on the drive and so forth, uh, so it goes through quicker. Um, so what we're going to do is paste that onto the desktop there and just move this onto here so you can see it so that is actually now copying it onto the pc at roughly 800 megabytes per second so that's using the right speed so again that's pretty quick going as well and as you can see that went through very fast so on writing onto the drive it was going at roughly 500 megs and it was going at roughly 800 uh, when you were reading from the drive as in copying from the drive onto another device so which again is a very very fast speed So overall, if you're looking for something that's a bit more durable than a normal external hard drive, a little bit bigger than the usual USB pen, and has transfer speeds fast enough to, well, do anything you want, then this is probably the product you want. With prices starting at around £70, you've got options all the way from a 240GB all the way up to a 960GB version. It's a very small and compact unit and it's able to connect up to a PC, laptop, even smart device with either a standard USB Type A connector or USB Type C. Even though it does go at USB 3.1 Gen 2 speeds, you can use it in older USB 2 devices and so forth if you wish. Even though in our testing the speeds came out a little bit slower than what they rated it at, that does happen now and again, depends on equipment and so forth used 
testing, it's still pretty fast. You're looking at roughly about 10 times faster than a traditional hard drive, uh, normally an external hard drive. You probably get between 100, maybe 150 megabytes per second, um, but again, it wouldn't usually be a constantly that speed. You'll have lots of dips and ups and downs and lots of seek times, which generally makes it a lot slower than that in a lot of cases. As a computer technician, I would be happy to use this product on a daily basis and have no problem highly recommending this product.